welcome to my channel my name is Andrew and today I'm going to show you how you can create a log on form which looks like this it has been a while since I posted a video on Microsoft Access and I'm happy to uh, share with you some of the techniques you can use to manage the security of your Microsoft Access app application or your database of course there are other options ways of setting up a Microsoft Access password but remember that option of, uh, of, of setting up uh, for one user it may not work well for, for, for us so uh, I came up with a technique that you can use to set up uh, a Microsoft Access uh, logon form which will enable many users to access the databases uh, your database or databases according to your uh, to your to your to your needs as you can see this is a logon form for example uh, if I select username and uh, I select uh, I type in uh, my password it should take me to the form I set it to take me to so I if I click go it takes me to that form so in that case uh, uh, you'll see that uh, um, um, I'm, uh, I'm being moved to the HR main uh, application interface. Uh, so you will realize that this logon form, it has many users. So if I go in as Android and I put a wrong password, uh, you will get a password invalid. Please try again. So here, this is how you can uh, uh, develop uh, uh, this uh, logon form as I'm going to show you. Uh, in a moment so uh, having uh, uh, showed you that let me take you to the uh, to how how do we go about this you go to the tables and you're going to create a table which looks like this it should have an ID name password and access uh, uh, so the access can be an admin or a user so you may be able to uh, give different rights that this is an, an admin or this is a user uh, depending on uh, what your preferences are so let's develop a table so you go under tables we're already under tables and we create table I always prefer using a table design so you click on table design our first uh, field is going to be integer yeah, employee, employee ID, and uh, uh, this one is going to be an auto number. You can as well say employee ID, just employee ID. Uh, then string, e employee uh, name. Uh, of course, this should be short text, and then string employee password this is going to be uh, short text but the, the the caption should be uh, rather the input mask should be uh, password 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 then we go on to string uh, you can say access you can as well just say access and this is uh, uh, short text and then uh, having done that uh, you'll be able to save your your table D do you want to change design on the table too uh, you say yes and then you save the table and it's gonna uh, be called TBL uh, employees Okay, of course, it is uh, telling me that uh, uh, you have uh, a, a table already called employees. So I can rename this uh, uh, employee, employee one. Uh, then uh, instead of replacing this one, uh, but it would be better to, uh, to first uh, uh, de uh, delete table, TBL employee, if you had a similar table. So employee one. Okay, there's no primary key, so this, the system will assign the primary key automatically. So uh, this is my my table. 
employee one, but in order not to confuse you, let me just rename the original one. Uh, rename this to maybe I put here temp such that I maintain this as employees. This one here, the one I've created. So I think we are together. So here you can see that when I open this form, I should be able to put say my name, Andrew, and then let me assume a simple password. One, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't matter, it's just uh, for the illustration. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a user. And so uh, let me also create uh, James, uh, maybe six, five, four, three, two, one as a password. Maybe James sees, maybe an admin. Let me create uh, is another user maybe sandra and the password is sandra sandra maybe maybe one two three to make it easy uh, again user so you can see these are my users i've created and of course uh, uh, the users will not have access to this table you'll be able to hide it uh, such that the user cannot open the table uh, to change their rights or to change uh, things around. So having done that, having done that, I close this table. The next step is to create a form, a form which will be able to connect us, uh, to connect these, uh, the users uh, to, uh, to this table. So we go to create, we finish with it, with, with the table. So we are going to create a form. So you go to, uh, there are many ways of creating form, but I just uh, need to use, uh, you can use this one form design. So to make for you a simple form, what do we need on this form? We need, we're going to, to drag and drop what we call A combo box because we want to be able to select uh, the, the 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 names uh, from a list. So uh, you can just pick this combo box. Drop it here, and then this combo box will ask you: uh, I want the combo box to get values from another table and a query. Yes, we were, because we want to reference this combo box to the table, the table employees. You go next. Uh, so you look for your employee table here. You go next. And then you look for uh, what you want to show in the in this uh, combo box. You go next. Then you want these to be in a, uh, maybe a say ascending order. Uh, the, by uh, employee name, you go next. So here is here here you, you can see that we have our names appearing, and uh, you go next, and then finish. So this will be the username. You can type here username. So you can as well enlarge it. Name. And then remember, we need a we need a text box for password. A text box for password. So you just come here and uh, drop this text box there. And this one is gonna be a password. And then you can do the formatting later. Uh, just a quick uh, alignment here, align to the left, and then this one also, make it a little, align to the, to the left. And then we need, uh, we need what we call, uh, we need what we call a, a button that will replace uh, to log in. So uh, this button, uh, let's look for the button. The button is here. Can bring, bring it down here. 
then uh, here you can uh, just cancel this and uh, call this button. Uh, go or log in, whatever you prefer. You can just uh, log in. So, so we've created our form and uh, this is our form. You can give it, you can do the formatting later, but the most important thing is to make sure that the form is looks, uh, uh, comes out the way you want. The formatting can be done later. Uh, so uh, I can save the form and I call it uh, form log. Login, form login. I think I have that form somewhere, but uh, I'm going to call it form login access. Okay, form login access. So uh, you can see now that if I click OK and I got forms, you can always navigate to your forms tables. This is a form I've created, but this form is is dormant here because we haven't we have to put code we have to put code to make it work you can even see now i can be able to 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 select uh type in password uh ag again here i have to change such that this one reads uh, uh doesn't show the, the, the these uh uh these le these uh these letters the, the text doesn't come out like that but you can see the form is not it's not that active so, okay, uh, but however, if you go to this form at vote earlier, you can see the form is active. Uh, so, so having done that, so we are going to make the form active. Uh, let me take you back to the tables. It seems that I made some some slight error. Uh, let me check on this table I brought before. Um, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Input solid. Input mask. Input mask. Make sure that the input mask is password. Input mask here should be password. Uh, so let me go back and collect. Uh, this it's always good to of course you make mistakes and you go back and they correct uh, so I go to mine um, I put I put it in the right place so yeah input mask yeah it's password that is perfect I just wanted to make sure that we are on the right uh, the right page uh, so having done that uh, now you can see that uh, our form is uh, is uh, coming out you can see here Andrew username but now when you type in the password you don't want the text to show that you are uh, the letters or the numbers or whatever text you are typing you want to convert this into uh, uh, to look uh, uh, to look uh, as password uh, those dot dot dots instead of having a, instead of having uh, the letters visible so how do you do that you go right uh, click here and design view uh, so you click on this and set data input mask. You can see I input password and uh, Having done that I save this form and I see if it is coming out nicely. So uh, I select say Andrew and then I put uh, You see you see how I've done it. So that's how you do it. But now the the biggest uh, part or the interesting part of this whole thing is on this so we are going to make this uh, button such that when we click on it we make it in a way that we click on it and it takes us to a form and I'm going to say that uh, I want this to take me to uh, after someone has logged in I want it I want uh, to be taken to this form here and I called it form master form master 
So I'm going to share with you a code which you may not need to reinvent the wheel. You can just adjust that code accordingly and uh, you see how this thing works. So the code um, is just here. This is the code I'm going to use on this form. Uh, I will, I will, I will up, uh, upload it on the, uh, when I'm uploading this video. Uh, so you go to, let me get this, uh, uh, this for you. I'm getting the code, so so the code is on click, on click. That means when a user clicks, it takes the user to that particular form. So I'm going to pick this code, and the code is going to be uh, captured under the other uh, the other button of ours. So I, I pick this code and I'm going to explain how this code works. So, so you, you remember this is our form. So I want to put a code on this. So you go design view, uh, design. So on this, on this, on this, uh, on this uh, button, I'm going to put a code uh, which it's going to be uh, invent procedure. You click on this and you can see it is saying uh, command click name. We can say command log, log, command login. So that when we, it is create rather than having those commands. So you come here, you say invent and then go here. Uh, so we don't need this because we have not named the form very well. Now you can see command login click. So I'm going to copy that code. I dropped the code, but in order to explain to you the code, first of all, uh, the, the system will first check if the user has entered the required information. It will first check the username if it is empty uh, and then it will ask for required data. Then a uh, password, again it will check if it is empty, again it will ask for the required data. So if null me dot text password, all me dot text password is null, the, if it, there's no information entered, it is uh, it is uh, the system will not take you to the next steps and then check value of password and the employee to see if this matches value chosen in the combo box here this is where now it checks up and uh, if it is match it is matching then here this is where I said you can always change to what you need uh, here it will say uh, it will this one will close the form uh, the current form that is the log log login log uh, login form and then it takes you to a form called form master uh, errors uh, if uh, the information is not uh, correct it takes you to uh, the password text field or the password text uh, text box and then uh, of course, if you try uh, three three times, uh, the system will log you off. I want you to take a note of some things here. Uh, we are going to rename our combo box CBO employee, and we are going to rename our password text password. So uh, let me. So we have already added function on our functionality on our login uh, login button so let me uh, rename this match uh, the name CBO employee 
and then uh, this one txt password txt password yeah so just confirm again i can go to my invent check whether i've renamed very well okay cbo employee cbo small txt small capital p so just come here I go to all cbo employee and then txt password capital so don't worry of uh, not getting it right first time uh, you can always go check a few things here and there and also remember the table name in our case here it is uh, uh, table name is uh, let's check the table it is of course tbl employees so it's a matter of matching your different aspects to uh, this code and you'll get it uh, working so come here to make sure that things are uh, in the uh, in the right direction they are right there so we have this combo box txt password that is the text box and then uh, uh -huh. then yeah th this is how it looks through the other table we created at first and table employees and uh, you can see here things flowing it is quite straightforward and here it closes the the, the logon form because you don't want to keep the logon form uh open so you have to close and then it takes you uh, to the main uh, form you, you 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 directed it to according to what you've picked here i think now we have managed to uh, to to do our to complete our 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 we've managed to complete our form let's give it a test uh, let's give it a test let's test don't worry even if it doesn't come out right fast so click it first of all let me test andrew and i put maybe wrong password and i see okay there is uh, an error and uh, the error is on the expression you entered in a query parameter produced an error ing employee error uh, so you realize that uh, i got an error uh, because of this part here so it had uh ing but you remember in my table i i called this uh field int so i just changed that to int so if you get errors you just check uh, to see that your uh, naming is correct so this is int not ing uh, that's why i got an error so having collected that i close this i want now to test in my uh, form to see if it works uh, let me try Andrew login uh, it says you must enter password and if I don't uh, enter the username and I enter password I try to log in again it says please enter username but if I enter the uh, username and password you can see uh, when I log in it takes me to the form the form master you remember the form master i talked about i just need to take you uh here th then uh, take you back to the form master the form master is here uh i captured it here uh, where is it here so here this is where you specify the form you want to open when a user has successfully uh captured entered the information again it is some uh, correction i have to make on the code here to, to rhyme you'll be getting errors so don't worry about getting errors so my form here i need to close is form login access so i'm going to ch 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 change this one to form login access such that when the user uh clicks on uh, on on the button uh, after entering the username and password this form will be closing you saw that it was not closing so it is form login access let's go and try it 
and uh, see what we get uh, so try it uh, I want to see that this form closes automatically once I have logged in so I just say login yeah you can see this the form has closed in the background you don't see the form so you can see that's how it works uh, you can also if you wanted to change this form login uh, this wording here you can uh, you can always come here double click here you go to properties and uh, say uh, caption you call you want to call it login form such that it has a very clear name uh, save that such that when I do that it shows login form there was also uh, some text uh, I'd put on my previous form uh, so if you want to put this text here uh, this one to tell the user click uh, go to enter click go to enter that is very easy you just uh, come to your form and then uh, you right click uh, design and I'm going to put I can extend this one you can drag it like this you can even reduce and then put what we call add what we call label you can even call this click to open a uh, click to open so I, I want this to uh, to be uh, 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 coming on and off coming on and off uh, so I'm going to call it name txt click txt click and then uh, close here sometimes you just need to borrow a code uh, from different parts so I'm going to borrow the code here and uh, this code I'm going to share with you and uh, just go to design view uh, and I'm going to put on the invent code uh, on, on timer on timer just I just pick the code and it's just a simple code here which will be turn on and off copy close uh, I just go to my form here I got design view and uh, I put on timer form on timer events on timer I say I want to run an event procedure every after uh, one second go here and just copy that code into it to the into that and uh, it was a text txt we called it txt click uh, and uh, here txt this is not very important for you uh, for your uh, blogging form it's not important but just to make it more uh, uh, more b look better or to make it more active uh, then here it is always good to put on error resume next so that in case there's a problem with this code it doesn't stop the entire system the entire system from working again here we can put on error resume it means that if it finds an error anywhere here it will just ignore it and it will continue with the system so let's see whether it is working and here we go you can see this is blinking it's blinking blinking so I can I can now be able to log in 
test. Yeah, it is working very well. So this is how you can manage the Microsoft Access login form and be able to create very many users. And uh, thank you so much for listening to me. And uh, please subscribe, like my video, share my video. I'm looking forward to uh, giving you more, uh, uploading more videos in areas of Microsoft Access. Bye.